Welcome back in the place to be with the CBDC Asset Group. Thank you for being a part of the group. Awesome video today. I had to share this one. It talks about the history of governments and how they destroy their currency over time and how Augustine Carson's has some big plans for the future programmable CBDC. Mark Yuskos, the founder and CEO of Morgan Creek Capital Management, says CBDCs are an evil incarnate. Oh, man. Now, me, myself, I do believe that CBDCs are bad. However, I know that either you get right or you get left and that I'm betting on the big bucks. So that's where I'm stacking my little pennies. Web 3.0 and crypto's role in the future of the web. We got talk of wealth and income inequality and why you shouldn't trust your government with your own CBDC. Hope you guys like, try to watch this one all the way through because this is a remarkable video. And uh, I know a lot of you feel the same way out there. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So Mark, on, on a Scott Mel Melker interview uh, on YouTube, you said that fiat money will continue to exist via CBDC. But in a free and competitive market, why would anyone continue trusting governments to handle their money? Oh, such a great question. Absolutely <clears throat> incredible question. Guns, mm. right? That's the reason. And here's the thing. Um, I will continue to opt out with a portion of my wealth, an increasing portion of my wealth. But for now, I will live in the United States and I will pay my taxes in fiat and I will buy my groceries in fiat and I will be a good, happy citizen. But you're absolutely right. Okay, Every government in the history of mankind has eventually destroyed their currency through profligate spending. So what happens is governments are formed they start democratically they start in a, in a robust kind of friendly we're here to help way and they migrate to absolute power corrupts absolutely they migrate to despotism ultimately to dictatorships and cronyism and so everybody says well capitalism is bad no capitalism is awesome capitalism is the best ism that there is cronyism is bad dictatorships are bad but over the history of time, whether it was the Roman Empire, the Ottoman Empire, it all ends up with cronies at the top dividing up the assets and then devaluing the currency to make their assets go up and impoverish the masses so the masses are dependent on them. It's happening right before our eyes in the United States. Nobody likes to talk about it. And it is the dictator playbook. So to your point, why would we trust the governments? Well, we shouldn't because we know since 1913, the plan, Right? Everybody says, oh, well, wealth and in income inequality are all-time highs. Why is that? What do we do? Like, idiots. That was the fucking plan. <laughs> that has been the plan all along to siphon the money to the top of the pyramid. And I don't mean to get so excited about this, but it, it makes me crazy that it it isn't about whether we should trust the governments. No, of course we should not, because governments don't exist to make our lives better, they exist to make their lives better, right? If you go back to the preaching. founding fathers, right? It was a voluntary position. You spent two years, then you went back to your farm and you ran your farm. Now it takes a hundred million dollars to get into a set into a Senate seat. Most people don't have a hundred million dollars. So how do they do that? They make promises to people who give them money. And then they have to actually fulfill those promises, like approve freaking drugs that kill people, okay? And all kinds of other things that they shouldn't do. And it it's so frustrating because on top of it, they're in control of fiat currency. And everybody says, oh, the Fed and the government, they're separate, bullshit. They are one. And the goal is to concentrate the wealth at the top, devalue the currency and boil the frogs. And we're the frogs in the water thinking, oh, this is a very nice hot tub. And then we're paralyzed and we can't jump out. Anyway. Doug, but, you, Mark, you bring up some great points. I don't feel strongly about that, though, guys. <laughs> oh, good point. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Go ahead, Marcel. Uh, my question is, do you see any way, any solution that governance could do 
to make the CBDC better than fiat? Maybe a oh, God. between the central oh, banks or no. CBDCs are evil incarnate. They are the <laughs> worst of everything that we've worked so hard to create in technology. I, I'm sure you guys have seen, you know, the giant dude from the BIS, right, talking about this. If you haven't <laughs> seen it, you got to see it. I mean, I mean, the dude's 500 pounds if he's an ounce. And to sit there and say, of course, governments have to be in control of the currencies because we need to determine who and when and how you spend your money. So think about this dystopian shit. Okay. You work all week and you get paid. And this fat guy says, no, if you don't spend your money at these four places by the end of next Friday, it goes away. Or worse, this nominee to be the head of the OCC, okay, who's an avowed communist, first of all, problem. Second, says, no, we should abolish the banks, okay, which might not be the worst thing in the world, and we can all go to Bitcoin. But then we should make the Fed the only bank and people should be forced to put their money in the Fed bank so that if I, and she said this, if I want to confiscate it in the future to stem inflation, I should be able to do that. Are you freaking kidding me? No, 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 there is no good CBDC. CBDCs are evil incarnate. They are surveillance tools used to exacerbate all the negative aspects of fiat because you can turn you can pro you can program money programmable money at its root can be good like bitcoin at its most evil cbdc can be again the the worst possible form of money and i have said that in the past like cbdcs are, are crypto in disguise it's a facade it's a fugazi like the but they're not crypto no oil. they're not crypto exactly. they are electronic fiat they are not crypto. They are not decentralized. They are centralized. They are evil. And look, we're going to have them. And then I say, that's why I say I live in the United States now. If there comes a point where the CBDC has the ability to confiscate my wealth, I will may find some other place. I mean, crazy. All right. Crypto will run everything. Everything will will work with crypto as the fuel, right? So imagine a world where we sit in the back of our autonomous vehicle, you won't drive, it'll actually drive you. It pulls into the charging station, it doesn't take two hours, it takes two minutes. You won't get out of the freaking car and put a plastic card in the machine. Are you kidding me? The car will pay the machine. Then the car will pull away, you get stuck in traffic, you wanna go in the fast lane, it won't take a picture of your license plate and send you a bill for $4.10. The car will pay the lane and then I will be a member of Waze Premium and it will tell me the fast way and it'll send all the rest of y'all on the slow way and I'll pay with crypto. So crypto will drive everything. Web 1.0 was big. Microsoft, Intel, Cisco, big. But that was the area under the curve. Think of a parabola going across the x-axis to the y-axis in the upper northwest quadrant of an x-y chart. The left-hand side is parallel to the x-axis. The area under the curve doesn't even look like anything. But that was huge, Microsoft, Intel. Web 2 is the knee of the curve. Now that area is bigger than the area to the left. And that is Apple and Netflix and Amazon and Alibaba, much more wealth. But now we're going parabolic. Now we're going parallel to the y-axis. That's Web 3. This will create more wealth than any technological innovation in our lifetime. It is the greatest wealth creation opportunity I will see in my lifetime. 